tell us, you know, what happened with the hand? You know, it looked like it hit Bud Dupree's face mask, and then X-rays, and how did it go? Yeah, uh, with the face mask. A little bit of speed before trying to throw a long ball. Uh, X-rays were negative, so that's good news. Uh, just get a little numb, uh, take some medicine, and get back out there. So we'll see. Do you think it affected you in the second half, wearing the glove and dealing with the pain? No, no, it didn't. Help. What do you think happened in Baker after uh, after you guys get those ten points in the first, I think, three possessions? What happened after that? Um, we saw another one of those goals that you know, I've mentioned. Uh, we have to stay consistent. Uh, you know, it's, you can't be satisfied. You got to be able to hit the reset button, go back out there and do your job, no matter what the score is, uh, no matter the situation. So uh, it, it hurt us not being able to score, and then getting the points before half and getting the ball back right after that. In so, terms of having uh, them right where you wanted them, did it cross your mind how quiet the stadium was when you were up ten nothing and? The yeah. defense would not. We were playing well, and we just need to capitalize on the situation. Uh, continue to uh, attack and uh, make plays and do our job. But part of that question is, you know, it was bound to be a, a you know angsty type of emotional game coming off the previous uh, Browns uh, Steelers game, and you had their crowd out of it. And then uh, when you didn't sustain there, then their crowd got back back yeah. into it. Is, is that some sort of a factor? Um, no, it, it didn't play a factor. Obviously, they can use it as momentum for them. Uh, Feeding off the energy, but um, we just have to do our job. You know, we expect that type of environment on the road. Uh, and anytime we win, we, we can take out the crowd. We've seen we're you come out of these, not you personally, but just collectively as a team. We've seen you come out of a loss. Um, why were you on it? Why were you, as a team, unable to come out of a loss today? Um, we just uh, I'll look at the tape. We got to be able to do our job. I think consistently, everybody's got to do their 111. Uh, you know, the things I mentioned. But, but we just have to put it together. We have to play as a team on the road to be able to have success. And, uh, we didn't do it uh, consistently enough to have, have an impact. Will you undergo an MRI? Do you fully expect to be able to play the next time? Uh, yeah, I fully expect to be able to play. What is that? What about the MRI? Do you think you'll have an MRI? I have no idea. We'll see. I'm not a doctor. What is that on your It looks like it's heavily wrapped. Yeah, it's a nice pressure. It's a club. Baker, what do you think this team has learned about? trying to win in tough atmospheres. Do you believe there's something about teams learning how to win, how to beat tough teams? What have you guys learned so far this season? Um, we've been able to make the plays we needed to recently at home uh, when it came to the critical moments. But uh, on the road, it's you know, even the finer details. And so we learned that we didn't make one more play than they did today. Um, and it's all three phases of the ball. Uh, it's not like it's one area that uh, we can play. It's everybody collectively as a unit. How do you Great people will look at the, the two lineups that were out there today, and they'll see what the Browns had, and then all the backups that the Steelers had. And a lot of fans might say, you know, the Browns should win a game like that. How, how, how do you compartmentalize or kind of I I explain how Pittsburgh is able to win a game like that with their backups, and you guys were unable to win with your starters? One, it's the NFL. You're not just going to throw anybody that's a slouch out there. It's the NFL for a reason. Um, they've been playing without Ben you know, pretty much the whole year. Um, so it's never an excuse. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, you know, for anybody to use that as a, a reason why, it, it comes down to us doing our job. It's not about who we play uh, week to week basis. We have to do our job no matter who we play. You said that, and that's what matters. So how do you look at the big picture with the playoff hopes taking a big blow? Uh, we, we just have to get back to a singular focus. You know, we can't control one of the things on the outside. We have to you know, take care of our business. And that's all that we really can focus about. Hey, Big, what about, uh, can you talk about those last two possessions? The one after the teammate interception where you guys are in a good spot, and then getting the ball back with just under two minutes left. How confident were you? And what happened on that pick? Um, yeah, you know, we, we tried taking a shot um, after Terrence's interception. Um, almost had a great play. Uh, almost. Jarvis has come down with those before, but it's a tough play. It's not a routine thing for anyone. Um, and just, they, they ran a couple good coverages against us and got some pressure on the third down. Uh, and then we you know, pinned them back down deep, got the ball back, had all the confidence in the world that we'd have a chance to go down and score. Um, just a, a little bit off on the, the seam throw. Uh, Joe Hayden made a good play, you know, covering between number one and two, and dividing those guys, and uh, picked the ball up. Baker, 
just the way this season has gone, have you ever felt like any of the outside stuff off the field has had any impact on this team on Sundays? You know, how, how do you think, I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about. There's always, there's some things that pop up sometimes. You feel like you guys have been able just to focus and, and handle your business on Sundays? What did you think of, uh, of Freddie wearing the Pittsburgh starter that t-shirt on Friday night? <laughs> what, you, with the pressure, Odell didn't have a lot of opportunities today. I think he had six targets today. Just when they are able to get some pressure, um, what does that do? And especially with, you know, you, took, you did take some shots, but how does that affect trying to get the ball to him especially? Um, it's frustrating, you know, the, the types of plays that we had drawn up. You know, they require a little bit of time. But we said it earlier in the week, they, they played well at home, defensive front, uh, and they did again today. Uh, they, they made the plays when they needed to, and so we weren't able to get like we last thing when's the last time you threw with a glove in a game? Uh, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. Never? I don't know if I have. Did that affect your, is throwing the ball at all though, Baker? For the second time, no, it didn't affect Did any of your lasting effects from that shot that you took from Watt look like you got you right under the armpit there in the first half? I don't care about that time. Uh, no, that's just a good hit. Do you, in, in, a, in a game like this, do, does it, now looking back at it, do you lament the fact that you don't have your best defensive player on the field to help you guys get over the Yeah, top? no, no, we talked about it. There's, there's no real way to replace a guy like Miles. Uh, he's just a one of the kind of athlete that can really change a game. Um, so it hurts, but we trust those guys to step up and make plays. We just, like I said, all three phases of uh, our team, we didn't make plays. Thanks, Thanks, Baker.